Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, the intro is going to be pretty short. So, if you can't tell by everything that you see so far, we are making a copycat Fuji apple chicken salad. This is my favorite thing to get from Panera. Um, I absolutely love this salad, but it, girl, it costs almost $15, okay? So we're making this at home because it's super easy to make. So I'm just showing you guys everything that I have bought to make this salad. Um, I brought pecans. I brought Fuji apple chips. They actually sell this in the stores, which I didn't even know. Then I also brought the Panera Fuji apple dressing. They sell this at the local grocery store. Um, you could definitely pick it up from the store. Um, so I got that, um, and then I have all my seasonings I'm going to season my chicken with, um, my favorite Slap Your Mama, my Red Hot, and then I got, um, gargantua cheese, if that's what you want to call it, and I'm using spinach and spring mix, and then I cut up my red onions and my peppers ahead of time, so that's pretty much everything that we're going to be using today, and I don't know if I mentioned that I bought pecans as well. So we're going to get right into it. Don't forget to make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. So right now I'm going to start by cutting the chicken up into small little pieces. Um, just because I like small chunks of chicken in my salad, not gigantic chunks um, like they have at Panera. So I'm cutting them up into little cubes. And this is super easy. Just cut them like little cubes. So I'm just going to do that really quick and then I'm going to come back. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have my chicken all cut up, and now I'm just going to pretty much season it. I like using a paper plate to season my um, chicken just because it can catch all the seasonings, and um, my little brother was helping me, I'm sorry. So, um, we're going to be using the Red Hot seasoning, the Slap Your Mama, and then my favorite garlic salt. Um, we're just going to use that to season the chicken. We're not going to use a whole lot because it's still supposed to be healthy. So, you know, we're not going to overdo it. But, yeah, so I'm just seasoning my chicken with that. And then I'm just going to mix it around on the paper plate just so that all the seasonings really stick to the chicken. Okay, so now we are going to get the pot all nice and hot. I'm going to just use some olive oil here, um, extra virgin, you know, extra virgin, extra classy. And then I'm going to use <laughs> some minced garlic and I'm just going to put that into the pot. Um, yeah, we use this pot a lot. That's why it looks all cooked up like this. But don't worry, it's clean. The pot is just overused. Okay. <laughs> now that the pot's hot and sizzling... Um, we're just going to put our chicken in there and we're just going to let that cook. So I'm just putting the chicken into the pot. Um, chicken does get smaller once it starts cooking so don't think the pot is too small. We are just going to let that sit for a little while. You can either put the lid on it or not. I try not to keep the lid on it just because I like my chicken to have a little crisp to it. So I don't usually put the lid on unless I really want it to just be like boiled. But yeah, we're just going to let the chicken cook and it's going to do its work on its own. Okay, so now we're going to get into the salad part of this. So I kind of did something stupid in the beginning. You guys are going to see a little, a little later on. So I ended up using like a small container to put the salad in. But I ended up realizing I was going to need something bigger. So just disregard this little container that I'm squeezing all this salad into. Um, but we're just going to take out our salad 
and we're going to clean it obviously and then we're just going to start pouring in all the toppings that we want into the salad if you guys have any nut allergies or some of the stuff you just don't like in your salad you guys don't have to do it this is just what i'm doing and this is how it is when you order from panera so now that my salad's washed it's pretty much self-explanatory here um, i'm just going to leave all the lists of ingredients um, because i don't really need to explain to you this part um we're just going to be topping the salad with everything that we that's listed that I told you guys in the beginning so I'm just gonna finish doing this really quick and then once the chicken is done I'll come back Now we're going to check back on our chicken. As you guys can see, it's almost done. It's looking nice and healthy and seasoned. So we're going to let that cook for a little bit and then we're going to get back to our salad. So this is when I realized that I was a dummy. <laughs> so I ended up using this little appetizer tray to just spread out my salad some more so that you know, it looked more prettier on the plate. Um, the little bowl I had was just too small and it wasn't gonna let me display the salad the way I wanted to. So now I'm just, you know, making it look all cute all over again on this nice little platter. <laughs> So guys, now I just added my chicken and everything is complete. Um, it's literally just that simple, guys. The only thing I forgot to add, which I will probably add in the next, the last clip, is I forgot to add the gargonzola cheese, but I do end up adding it in, so you guys will see it at the end. But this is the complete dish, guys, and it looks amazing. Like Panera Hoop. <laughs> 